In our second video, we're going to talk more about how Pro Tools works, the nuts and bolts, the playback engine, your I.O. setup. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Playback engine. Mine is HDX because I have HDX cards. Yours would be whatever interface you have. I have it set for higher sample rate. If you go lower, you'll get less latency. I leave it high because of mixing. Everything else is set to whatever the default is. Then you have the I.O. setup. This is what your inputs and outputs are. I have a lot of things coming in from different mic pre's. I have a monitor out is what we listen to. I have a cue out which goes to headphones. I have a setup that goes to Logic on my other computer which records the audio from here for these video sessions. And I have a reamp box if I want to run something back to an amp. Then I have buses. So you get a lot of buses with Pro Tools. You start out with a default of 24. But then you'll notice these buses with this check, and that's mapping to an output. So for every output you have, you'll have a bus as well, and you can map them, and it should be checked off. And then inserts are what you have connected. I have a bunch of analog gear, so that's why you see all of that. But we're not going to use most of that today. We want to get you going. So first things first, right up here, I want to be in bars and beats because we're making music and we're referring to tempo. Now right here is the tempo bar. It's static because we didn't create a tempo map, so we don't really need to worry about seeing it. But if you double click or click on that, it says the tempo's 120. So I'm gonna go to 100 for picking something. And let's make a click track. So you go to the track window, create a click track. So I've opened up a click track and here it is. So we just see the name. So we wanna see some more things, right? So let's see the insert, that's where the click lives. So we have inserts A to E. F to J, we're not going to need all that today. Sends A to E, we might use that later, and sends F to J. You're going to notice on all of my J send, it'll say to logic, because I have to send that to the other computer so you could hear it. We do want to see the I.O. And the I.O. gives us the output and the in. Then you have object, real-time properties, track color, a bunch of other things like that. We don't have to worry so much about that. I will tell you this. I do this for every session. I have the color palette out, and I like to color code things accordingly. So I know what's what. If my colors are always in the same in every session. When there's a lot of tracks, I can find them quick. Now, you might be thinking as we go through this, wow, you're doing a lot of setup. I hate this. I'm never going to be creative. Wrong. We're going to do it for this session. Then I'm going to show you how to make this into a template. So then what you do is you launch a new session, and you'll import your info from your template to build what you need to build. And you only have to really do this once so here's our click so let's hit play curse is moving but we don't see the click kind of lighting up or we don't hear it so that's because we did not click on this enable this metronome button now we have it you can change the click to anything you want that's available here different things you can have accents whatever you like when I stop and start I like to use the space bar it's much quicker than going over here and pressing this and pressing stop whenever I want to stop. We've got a new session. We know how to bounce between the track window and the mix window. And now we know how to set up a click track. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.